Madonna may be a woman of few regrets, but she did confess one of them to Jimmy Fallon last night. But I, I also turned down the role in, Ma in The Matrix. Can you believe that? You do. I want to kill myself. Oh, stop. No, You're seriously. Madonna. You That's don't, like you one you of the best movies ever. Anything. I, I, you don't regret anything. Look I, at you. A teeny tiny part of me regrets just that one moment in my life. So in true Madonna fashion, check out this weird moment where she climbed on Jimmy's desk and got him all flustered. Um, she also admitted that she turned down Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. She would have been great in that. I, well, Michelle Pfeiffer was fantastic too, but yeah, Madonna could have been as well. Um, you're shaking your head. What are you thinking? I was just laughing at Jimmy Fallon, like covering him up with the jacket. Yeah. He's, I'm a Jimmy Fallon fan. I know people don't like him, but whatever. He handled it. He handled it well. I think it's fascinating when people talk about the roles that they didn't have, right? Or if they're like, this was going to be Tom Cruise, but instead it was this, because so some roles are so iconic and you couldn't see another person playing that role. And then when you find out it could have been somebody else, I, I don't know, that always interests me, like with big actors, what they turn down, you know? Well, also just the trajectory of your life. Like, Sam, have you ever had an opportunity that you turned down and you look at it like what would have happened if I did that instead? Yeah, there was a number, there, well not a number, but there was one show that I remember in particular that was a travel show with MTV. And I don't think I would have met Mark because it was right before Mark and I would have been traveling and who knows what my trajectory would have been after that. I decided to stay put because at the time I was writing and I had a deal to write a pilot. So that's what made me stay in LA and then I met my husband. So yeah. What about you, I mean, the comic? Yeah, I mean, there, there are so many things, so many uh, auditions that you didn't take seriously because you didn't know that they were going to be big. Uh, I remember going to MTV to audition for Guy Code, but it wasn't, there wasn't a name for it yet. And that kind of launched comics to the next level. And I went in there, I had had a few. And uh, didn't give my best performance, <laughs> uh, you know. Full disclosure. And then I mean, you're like, gone. yeah. And then like, it, it got huge. Like those guys started touring off that credit, and I was like, I could have got that show because I was uh, doing and writing for green screen shows, so I can knock out a goofy guy code joke. But I didn't take it seriously and it changed my life. But I wouldn't be sitting here. What about you? Were you ever up for a role and then you saw it like air and you're like? Oh, man. No, I take everything. <laughs> I take it. I did get offered one time, legit. My agent called me. That sounds so like Hollywood. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> With his black suit. I know. My agent <laughs> called me. I was like, no. <laughs> no. They called, and then, I'm not even joking. I was desperate at the time, and they go, hey, do you want to do a show? It's serious. It's called Cooking Naked, and I was like, Cooking Naked, and I was like, Jordan, do you want to do a show Cooking Naked? And she's like, no. I'm like. I can't believe this, but it's a pass. Like, right. I'm going to pass. But oil and nakedness, no. Yeah, it just seems like it'd be bad. <laughs> or hot oil, you, I should say. Would you have been cooking naked? That's, it obviously never came out, but they really pitched it to me. Wow. But that's the only thing I've ever passed We could have a segment on <laughs> TVL. Cooking, yes, on our last show. <laughs>